I'm Crystal and welcome to my Texas garden. Today's episode we're actually going to plant some herbs into the window box I made a few weeks back. And if you missed that episode, I'll go ahead and link it above for you. But before we can actually plant our herbs inside the window box, I'm actually going to need to make some potting soil. Which brings us to the chicken yard. So one of the main ingredients that I'm going to be using in my potting soil mix is actually compost. Now if you're new around here, welcome. And if you're all about gardening naturally, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to smash the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a video. So any good potting soil mix, you really need to start with a really great compost. And I don't have the traditional compost pile that you have to turn. I don't have a compost bin. I don't have a compost barrel. I did at one point before I had chickens, I did have a compost barrel that we turned. Um, but the chickens have actually replaced all of that for me. So basically what we do is any garden waste, any kitchen scraps, um, yeah, including meat, they all come out to the chicken yard. Anything that the chickens won't eat, they'll actually scratch around, scratch around, and... Break up that food item, making a really wonderful and rich compost. That's actually one of the things that I really, really love about chickens is that they make really great compost with minimal effort for me. And they give us breakfast. There's food on the ground. She's ready to get down. <laughs> so without further ado, let's start making some potting soil. So the very first ingredient in this potting soil mix, and honestly, probably the most important part of the potting soil mix is going to be a nicely aged compost. You want to make sure it's nicely aged and that it's not too hot. Now compost is going to add a lot of nutrition that the plants require for healthy growth like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, but they also can contain some micronutrients like magnesium, copper, iron, and zinc. So very very important for the plant's growth. Now our next ingredient is peat moss. Now you can actually use a cocoa core if you like. Um, they're both interchangeable. I happen to have peat moss on hand, so that's what we're using today. Now peat moss or cocoa core, they don't have a whole lot of nutrients to them, but the reason why we add it to the potting soil mix is because it really does lighten everything up and it also holds moisture better. So it's better for moisture retention in the potting soil mix. So our next ingredient is going to be perlite. Now the perlite kind of looks like little styrofoam pieces and if you open the bag outside, um, they can just blow all over the place. But don't worry, it's not styrofoam, it's an actual natural product. Now we're using that for soil aeration and drainage. It just helps with the drainage. So again, we're keeping this potting soil very nice and light and fluffy. Now the very last ingredient, I'm gonna be adding in aged bag manure, I'm just using a third of a part and the reason why I'm adding this in is just it's just gonna bump up those nutrients and really make the plants really really happy so again it's one part perlite one part peat moss or cocoa core whichever you're using one part well aged compost and a third of a part of aged bag manure now for this, it actually does not matter what your unit of measurement is. It could be an old coffee can, it could be a one gallon potting bucket, it actually does not matter, just as long as you can get the equal parts. So now it's time to mix, and we're gonna start with our compost. We're gonna start breaking up all of the big pieces. Just get everything broke up into nice, small pieces, and then just incorporate everything in, making sure that everything is well mixed together. Now, if we were using this for a seed starting mix, I would definitely wanna put this through a screen. But since we're actually using this for potting soil, we don't have to be perfectly fine with it. Now that we got our potting soil all mixed up, it is time 
to go ahead and start planting some plants. Now, as you can see, my husband already mounted this to the wall. And if I can get the camera guy to come in a little bit closer, you can actually see that he also drilled three drain holes for us. Now, these holes are kind of big, so I need to come in with a fabric of some sort. And for this, I'm gonna use a old potato sack. This is actually the sack that I got my uh, potato seeds from earlier in the season. So we're just gonna go ahead and fold this in half and just put it in here to keep all of the dirt from coming out. Now it's time to add the plants, the fun part. Okay, for this project, I went ahead and got four different kinds of basil. We have a Genevieve basil, a purple basil, a Thai basil, and a sweet basil. I love basil. It's so wonderful to cook with, and being that it's gonna be right off my kitchen window, it's gonna be super convenient too. So I'm gonna come in and just just dig a small hole. It doesn't have to be very big. I'm gonna pop this out of its pot and I'm just gonna kind of squeeze the pot just like this. And then by the base of the plant, I'm going to gently tug it out. Now you're gonna see some roots. It's a little bit root bound. What I wanna do is I kinda wanna break those roots up just a little bit, just like that. and we're gonna plop it in and add more dirt. So I will bring you guys back when I have this completely done. Okay, just putting up some finishing touches on this, making sure everything has got enough dirt and y'all, isn't this gorgeous? And my son just said, it smells like pizza sauce up here. It is so very beautiful and aromatic and it just makes this window. So the next thing I need to do is give it a really good drink of water. And I mean a really great drink of water. Then after that, the final thing that I need to do is actually just prune these basils up so that they uh, produce more gorgeous basil leaves for us. And that will be the next episode. Oh, no, 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 no. So Midge says it is dinner time and stop talking to that little box over there. So I'm going to end the video right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. And I definitely hope you try this potting soil mix. So y'all, until we talk again, y'all be blessed. Bye now. Say bye, Midge. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs>